For this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create a single material and a multi material with submaterials inside of the material editor. We'll also show how to copy and paste values between one another so then you can actually get the settings you want quicker without having to go in and manually input every single thing. So to go to the material editor, we can go to Tools, Material Editor. We're going to go ahead and dock that over to the right here. Let's go ahead and expand this out. And what we want to do is we want to actually get the properties from the selection. So it's this button. We'll see immediately that this is wood beams burnt. If we scroll that out, we now have a material. And what we want to do is we want to copy a material into another material that we're going to create. We're going to create two types of materials here. We're going to create a identical one just like this. So if I were to do that, I can right click and I can do duplicate. So now I have wood beams burnt one. And I can also do it where I can only do a multi material that I explain, that I want. In this one, I have six channels. Well, what if I only want to have four? Well, in order to do that, I can go up to Shader Ball and I can say Add New Multi Material. So if I were to click in here, let's do Wood Beams Burnt. We'll do Tutorial, just so we know it. And we'll save. Then we can right click and we can set the number of materials. So now I have four. So now I have four materials in here, but they're randomly named and they're also not containing any of the information I want. So I can right click on this and I can rename that submaterial. Let's rename it to the same thing as the first one, which is the proxy. So proxy underscore sub. So now we have proxy underscore sub. And we can rename some of these as well. Do outside underscore sub. And then we'll also do CE logo. And then the last one, we'll make a custom one. And we'll name this one Colin underscore sub. So the proxy material, if I were to expand this out, I could go ahead and go to the proxy one underneath the wood beams burnt, and I can right click and select copy all. So if I want to do that, I go to copy all and then paste all, same kind of thing. So now you'll see we've inherited the no draw shader and surface type into our first channel. The next thing that we can do is we can go to outside. Let's do the same thing just so we can see it change. And now you'll see that we automatically just took that entire submaterial. What happens if I want to just copy a category? So in the lighting settings, I can copy the category and I can come back to the CE profile. And if I paste that, you'll notice that it only did the actual category. So this gives you a chance to actually pick and choose based on just the lighting settings, but not actually overriding the whole material or submaterial itself. And the last thing that I can do is I can just once again copy all, and paste. Before we move on, I want to actually show you in wood beams burnt. So in this, we have wood beams burnt, and we were able to duplicate it. What if we want to duplicate the entire material and submaterials without having to go in each one? Because otherwise, what we've shown is we've just done each submaterial. So let's go into soil. And what we can do is we can copy soil B, and we can go into wood beams burnt 1. Let's go ahead and paste this and just press cancel. Now if we go into it, you'll notice that all of the submaterials have actually taken on the soil material without actually having to go in and copy and paste each individual submaterial. Since we've gone in there and we've explained all the submaterials, let's keep the easiest for last, and that is we can add a new material, and we can call this one tutorial single. And it'll just add a simple submaterial in theory and not have a master material. And then we can go in here and we can copy all. And then we can paste. So this is giving you a quick overview on how you can pretty much manipulate materials through copying and pasting and making single and multi materials to be able to dress up your scene quickly 
and manipulate things that may already exist in Game SDK or from your teammates in your own development.